With the release of Halo 4 on PC, it completes the Master Chief Collection, so you might be thinking, well, all the work is done. Not exactly. We have nine key features and fixes coming to the MTC, things including like custom game browser and console FOV sliders, as well as the December patch update. And in this video, we're going to go over everything and more, so stay tuned throughout the whole thing to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button, lets me know you want to see some more content like this, and it greatly helps out the video and channel. So let's get right into the content here. Well, Halo 4 is out on PC, so we finished the fight, right? MCC is complete. Well, not exactly. And in this video, I've come up with a list of nine features and items that are coming to the MCC that I think you really want to pay attention to. So let's jump right into it. The first one on this list is the view model adjustment for all games. Now, this is something that has been requested basically since December of 2019, and it's still not in the game. If you guys don't know what we are talking about when it comes to view model adjustments, you can see the side-by-side -side comparison here of normal weapon placement, and then you can see the comparison to the view model adjustments. Now, initially they kind of had mock-ups as like a slider kind of thing from like a zero to 15% difference. And this would be a great option to give players much more customization and experience the Halo exactly how they would like. And 3 for 3 has been working on this, but it just seems to have a lot of bugs and issues tied to it. Now, recently they did change up a few of the view model angles when it comes to a game like Halo Reach, where that's really where the issue came up from because when you have your power weapons like a sniper rifle, Playing on centered crosshairs previously, your weapon would take up like half of the right side of your screen. Now with the recent update, it just kind of angles the weapon up so you don't really lose that much screen space with a centered crosshair. So for now, this honestly, like I think just works totally fine, but I understand how people would like to have that additional customization and 343 is working on it. They do plan to bring it in, I would assume sometime in 2021, as this has been creating a lot of bugs and issues. There really is no timetable for this to be implemented in 2021, but I'm sure it'll be in by then. Another feature is Steam account linking for all you Steam players so you don't have to re-add all your friends that have them show up on your friends list in game. You can just link your Steam account it automatically will add your friends in so you don't have to just constantly keep re-adding all, all the people that you have your Steam's friends list onto your Microsoft friends list. Now 343 does say that this is complete. But the feature is currently turned off because they want to test it before actually implementing it into the MCC. So I would expect it to be added in with some flighting process, which we'll get into later. Our third feature here is the PC file share. Obviously, Halo has had a very strong community when it comes to sharing content. You can create a lot of great content within the game itself. And Typically, we've been able to share that, but on PC, we just don't have that option. And they're looking into maybe finding ways to implement this feature in smaller chunks, probably starting off with just like Halo 3, since that's probably be the main game where PC file share will be utilized on, and then expanding that out to the rest of the MCC, probably one at a time. Number four on our list is probably the most anticipated feature to be coming to the MCC, and that is the custom game browser. And this is looking to function very similar to how it is in Halo. 5. There are so many amazing custom games within the MCC. That's where like Halo 3, it really shined with the addition of Forge. The whole mess load of just amazing custom games like Jenga, so many unique different infection modes and like paintball and just all these crazy awesome modes that we just don't really get a chance to play unless you coordinate friends together, which honestly bringing a lobby full of eight players or more is can be kind of difficult to put together. Even for me, I'm a, I stream on Twitch, but by the way, link in the description down below. And I even find it difficult to find people to play custom games with. So being able to hop around in a custom game browser would be fantastic. Now they did mention that they do plan to flight this feature as well. I actually do have some mock-up images if you guys want to check them out as well right here. You can kind of see just the basic idea of what they're looking to accomplish with the custom game browser. Uh, basically kind of select your different filters, your different games, your game types and things and player sizes and things like that. Again, all these images are mock-ups. These aren't actually in the game yet, but much like how they mentioned how they wanted to flight out things like Steam account linking, I'm sure this probably be thrown in with the custom game browser. Now we currently don't have a date set for when the custom game browser 
flight will happen to the MCC. My guess is probably after the holiday season, so probably late January, early February, you might start seeing some news about that, and I guarantee you we'll share it on this channel as soon as we find out more information on that. Now, talking about the holidays, I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably coordinating some gifts and just trying to find some awesome gear. Well, you can find that awesome gear at into the am they recently reached out to me and gave me a few products and not gonna lie guys like the products that they gave me these shirts they fit great feel great and honestly i think they look pretty freaking awesome this is my honest review it's not me trying to be a shill this is actually like me being honest like these are some pretty cool items of clothing so if you guys want to get yourself some of that great content, make sure you check out the link in the description down below. That's my affiliate link. You get 20% off, but today, only today, on the 23rd, they're doing a Black Friday sale with an additional 20%. So you can get 40% off your purchase by going to Into the AM to find yourself some awesome clothing, maybe for a loved one, a friend, or just for yourself. They have so much more than just shirts. They have a whole lot of other stuff, guys. So I highly suggest you go by and check them out. So thank you so much Into the AM for your sponsorship on the video. Now, once you're done selecting your items within Into the AM, you might want to select your keys you want to use within the MCC. Well, they're looking to add in double key binds for all games within the MCC. I know this is a feature that's been looking to be added in for a long time, but it looks like they're still looking, working on it right now at the moment. They mentioned how there are still a lot of bugs involved with this. so. Uh, probably wouldn't expect it to come around anytime soon, probably along with like those view model adjustments. Talking about additional customization, we have per game audio options, which sounds kind of irrelevant really, but when you think about it, it actually would be really nice. And being able to work out the levels just right per game would actually make it a much more enjoyable experience, especially when swapping back and forth between the anniversary and classic graphics. Now for all you Xbox One family console players, I'm sure you're really gonna be into this one. This is the console FOV slider. Now it was flighted within the recent Halo 4 flight, but then it was removed mid-flight because they recognized that there were some performance issues with that. Now, I do have some suspicion that possibly these Xbox One console FOV sliders will be brought in with the December patch update, which, which we'll talk about very soon here. And from my experience of talking to people who had the console FOV slider, it sounded like it worked really well for them. Again, I'll take 343's word on that there was some performance issues, uh, but it sounded like it worked out rather well and they had to take it out you know, mid-flight, and they might be coming in in December. So again, if it, once we have any confirmation, I'll let you guys know on this channel. Talking about some more wishful thinking between console and bugginess experiences, it has campaign crossplay. Currently, it's not available within campaign or Spartan Ops right now. And 343 cites that basically that the networking within these online co-op experiences is just really awful, and it would take a lot of time and a lot of effort to be able to implement crossplay for a campaign. And this would make a lot of sense because I remember playing original 360 days on these Halo games online co-op and playing off host, it's really almost unplayable how bad it really is. Uh, trust me, I would absolutely love this feature to be added in, but it sounds like it'd be such a monumental undertaking that it would completely derail everything else coming with the MCC that they want to accomplish with it. But I wouldn't expect campaign crossplay to come anytime soon. Here we have some two extra parts of InDesign. This is the parts that where they're actively working on the game right now to figure out ways to implement it into the MCC, those being additional mod support and accessibility support. Mod support is going to be absolutely huge. 343 has been working with members of the mo Halo modding community to see how they can figure out ways to support the game better. Which I feel like this is one aspect of bringing MCC to the PC and especially Steam that's really, really underutilized right now. With the lack of mod tools, you're kind of getting these one-off kind of experiences that you can probably find someplace and download, but it's really tough to, you know, bring it to the masses where something like the Steam Workshop would really help that experience. And now that all the games are on PC, I'm sure 343 can focus more efforts onto putting in more mod support so then this game could last beyond the launch of Halo Infinite and just keep making more content. I mean, people are still making Halo Custom Edition content and making videos on it and getting hundreds of thousands of views on it. It's awesome. And for the backlog of parts where they know people want, but they just haven't gotten around to it yet, that's idle system improvements, split screen on PC, and HDR support on PC. I would absolutely love HDR support on PC. I'm a PC player, but uh, we'll just have to wait a little bit longer. These could definitely could come in 2021. And to round off everything, guys, we got the December patch update coming, well, next month in December. Now, there haven't really been any specifics of what's gonna be coming with this December patch update besides two things that they 
I mentioned directly, that has the weapon skin lighting in Halo 3 and the ability to opt out of text chat filtering. Beyond that, we don't really know what else is going to be added in with this. I mean, maybe Steam account linking, maybe the console FOV sliders for the Xbox One family of consoles, or it could just be various bug fixes because there's still a lot of just random little bugs here and there within the MCC that still need to be worked on to make it a much better experience. So that's everything coming to the MCC after the launch of Halo 4. We still have a lot of stuff to look forward to and I'm sure they're probably working on a few things that you know we don't really know yet. There are gonna be more seasons as well, season five, and beyond, they do say that they're going to plan to support the MCC even past, you know, Halo Infinite's release with more seasonal content and just keeping the game active and fun. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I greatly appreciate it. Check out the videos on the screen right over here if you missed any content from me recently. Get yourself some awesome gear at 40% off with the link in the description down below, guys, for Into the AM. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.